Okay, now we've already gone through the buttons on the phone. And on the left side of the screen, I have an image as well, just as a reminder while I walk you through the different functions on the phone. So the first thing that you're going to do if you want to make an outbound call is you're going to select your empty bar here. And then you are going to type in the phone number. Now there's two different ways your office may be set up. The office may already be set up to input the dial out digit that you need to get an external line on the phone system. If that's the case, you can just dial the 10 digits needed. But if that's not the case, you'll want to make sure that you add the 8 one. If you're unsure whether or not you need to add the dial out digit, you can always talk to a support agent and we can confirm for you or you can simply test yourself. So to test by yourself, all you are going to do is type in the phone number without the dial out digit and see if it works. And I can see it says failed to establish call and it didn't add the 8 one in front. So I know that I need to do that. So next I'm going to do 8, eight one, and then I'm going to call the phone number. And now I have an active call. You're going to see here you can mute. I can put it on hold with that button and it's going to gray out completely. I can transfer using that button. And then if I wanted to start a video call, I could hit there. You're going to see that I have a call duration right here. And this little icon that you probably saw go back and forth between green and red is going to be an indicator of my connection. So if you're having some call quality issues and you notice that's red, you're going to want to talk to your internet service provider. So first, now that we have the call established, I'm going to show you the two different ways we can transfer. So I'm going to hit that transfer button. And then I'm going to dial the extension I want to transfer to. And here you see it says transfer now, but I do have the option to call first if I hit that little arrow downward. So when I hit that, I can choose to call the extension first or transfer immediately. Right now we're just going to leave it as transfer. And that'll complete your call. It'll leave your screen. Next, I'm going to show you how to conference. I'm going to put that on hold. And then I'm going to get my secondary line going. And now that I have two calls going, I can merge the calls. And now I have three people going on, three people on my call. So I'm going to put those on hold. And I could do the same thing to add up to three more participants if I needed to. So that's going to be how to do a conference. And those are going to be your three main functions on the Bria Enterprise.